uh, what's the latest buzz in the world of Bitcoin ETFs after a week of outflows. Uh, things are looking up again with uh, positive inflows returning. Um, but let's dive into the place details. On April 3rd, Grayscale Bitcoin ETF GBTC saw a decline in outflows with only $75 million leaving the fund. This is the lowest amount of outflows since February 26. Meanwhile, BlackRock's iBit ETF made a notable purchase of $42 million, and FBTC recorded a significant acquisition of $117 million. The total inflows across all Bitcoin ETFs reached $113 million. Um, but what does this mean for the overall Bitcoin market? The activity seems to be turning positive again, indicating that institutional interest in Bitcoin remains strong. And speaking of institutional interest, the futures market suggests potential volatility ahead. According to CryptoQuant, the increase in Coinbase premium indicates heightened Bitcoin purchases by U.S. institutions. This premium, which is reflects the price variance between Coinbase and international exchanges, highlights the significance of institutional involvement particularly as inflows into U.S. Bitcoin ETFs increase. Additionally, data shows that nearly 18,828 BTC have moved off exchanges, suggesting that institutions could be transferring their holdings to private wallets or cold storage. This could trigger effect, but with GRI Black, I was clearing uh, with all these positive signs, there's a good chance of a Bitcoin price rally ahead after the recent correction and with the Bitcoin halving event this month. Uh, there's even more potential for a supply shock. Um, so with all this talk about Bitcoin, it reminds me of an old joke. Why don't cryptocurrency miners ever play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when your transactions are on the blockchain. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.